Hello, today we're going to look at properties of vectors. So let's have a look at these properties of vectors. So there's quite a few of them. So let's read through them. The properties of vectors. For non-zero vectors, w, v, and u, and scalars k, m, and n that are real numbers, we have the following properties. So we have this commutative property. So u plus v equals v plus w, v plus u, sorry. We have the associative property. So if we add u and v together first, then w, it's the same as adding v and w together and then adding u. We have the distributive property. So here we have the scalar k. So k times the bracket u plus v equals k times u plus k times v. Then we have, okay, we have this property, adding the zero vector to any vector is the same as adding the vector to the zero vector and that just equals a vector. So the zero vector is like an identity. It doesn't change anything. Then we have M. So M and N are scalars. M times in brackets N times V. This is the same as multiplying the scalars M and N together first, then multiplying that resultant to V or multiplying, we can actually, we can't switch them around. Okay. So we can multiply the scalar m with v first and then multiply by the scalar n. Okay, and finally we have scalars m plus n, we add them together, then multiply them by the vector v. This is the same as multiplying m by v and then adding n times v. Good. Okay, so these are our properties. Now we're going to use these properties to simplify the following. Okay. So we have this vector. So two times vector A minus vector v, B plus four vector C plus four times negative two A plus three B minus A plus four B plus C. Okay, so let's use our properties to simplify this. Well, let's pick a different color. Let's do purple equals. So let's expand it out. So two, a, we're going to multiply the 2 into the bracket. 2a minus 2b plus 8c plus 4 times negative 2a, so negative 8a plus 12b minus a plus 4, whoops, we got to multiply that negative in, negative 4b minus c. Okay, so now we're going to go and start grouping like terms. So let's do all the vector a's. So we have two a's here. We have negative eight a, so that's negative six a, negative seven vector a. Okay, so next let's look at the vector b, negative two b plus 12 b, so that's 10 b, 10 b minus four b, so we've got plus six Bs. And finally, C, 8C. Oh, where else? Minus a C, so we're left with plus 7C. So we've simplified our, our original expression down to the vector negative 7A plus 6B plus 7C. Okay, so next question. Vectors B and W are distinct unit vectors with an angle of 60 degrees between them. Determine the magnitude of 2V minus W. Okay, so another one of these. So let's, let's draw a vector. So we have V and W, they're distinct. They are unit vectors, unit vectors. So they have a magnitude of one and the angle between them is 60 degrees. Okay. All right, so now we need to find this vector. We need to see what it looks like, Neg uh, 2v minus w. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that's not so nice. Let's, let's draw our vector 2v, so parallel to v, but twice as long. And then plus negative w, so parallel to W, but going in the opposite direction. Same length though. Let's put some arrows. So that's our negative W. This is our 2V. Now if we were to extend 
the, the vector w back, we have that this angle is 60 degrees. Since we have a straight line, what is this angle? This angle is 120. So let's put in our resultant vector. What's this green one? And that green one is 2v minus w. Okay, so again, we have a triangle. Let, let's redraw this triangle a little bit. Um, no, I think we're okay. Okay. So this side has length two. This side has length one. And we're interested in this third side. All right, so if we just sketch that out. Again, we have 2v, we have w, and we have 2v minus w. Put all our arrow heads in. We have this angle equals 120 because this is 60 degrees. Let's put in the lengths. Let's make it a bit. This is our angle, our vector 2v. It has a magnitude of that side of that of our triangle has a magnitude of 2. This vector here is negative w. Magnitude of negative w is just 1 because w is a unit vector. And then our, our unknown vector 2v minus w, that side length, that side of the triangle is the magnitude we're looking for. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to use the cosine law. So again, cosine law. Let's scroll over to the right and let's, let's use this cosine law to try and figure out the magnitude of 2v minus w or the length of that third side. Okay, so 2v minus w squared equals 2v squared plus negative w squared. Okay minus two times two V, magnitude of two V, sorry, times magnitude of negative W, times cosine of the angle theta and angle theta between, let's make this a little smaller so we can see everything, I fit it all in, is 120. Okay, so let's start plugging things in. Magnitude of two V is two squared plus magnitude of negative w is one squared minus two times two times one times cosine of 120 degrees. Good, all right, so let's start evaluating. So cosine of 120 degrees. Let's see, is that ne negative root three over two? Let's check, uh, I believe it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see if that's right. Cosine. Yeah. I believe that's correct. Let me check that. Uh, let Let's check that. I don't always trust. Okay. So. Okay. So how, how do we find the cosine of 120 degrees? Let's draw our, our plane. This is 120 degrees. The related acute angle is 60 degrees. What's the cosine of 60 degrees? Cosine of 60 degrees is a half. Oh, interesting. So the cosine of 120 The cosine of 120 equals the 
negative of the cosine of 60, so equals negative one half. And this is due to the cast rule, right? So in the second quadrant, the cosine is negative because only the sine is positive. So let's fix that. All right, we'll just erase that. So we have uh, two squared is four, one squared is one, minus two times two times one, that's four. <laughs> four times the cosine of 120, which is negative one over two. So what do we get? We get five plus two equals seven. So therefore, the magnitude of the vector two V minus W equals the square root of seven. Good. So this is a little review up here of the cast rule and related acute angles. And of course, we use the cosine loss, a lot of review of trigonometry, and all to get the magnitude of a linear combination of two vectors. Good. All right, so let's look at the next question. All right, so given the vector v with magnitude 6 and vector w with magnitude 11 and the angle between v and w being 30 degrees determine okay so we got a bit of work here so we need to determine magnitude of v minus w the unit vector in the direction of v minus w the magnitude of 5v minus w and the direction of v minus w relative to v okay so that's Okay, okay, good. All right, so all right, let's let's draw out some vectors v and w. Okay, so let's say this is v and let's say this is w. Okay. And the angle between the two is 30 degrees. Uh, our first task is to figure out what v minus w is and then to find the magnitude of that vector. All right, so we're going to draw our vector v again. Let's do that. Vector v. Vector w, or negative w rather, is going to go in the opposite direction. Let's be nicer but parallel to W. There you go. And then our resulting vector goes from the tail of V to the head of negative W. And what do we end up with? We end up with this right here. This is V minus W. So we have our triangle. So if we were to extend negative W backwards, this is our angle 30. That means this angle right here is 150 degrees. Okay. All right, so let's finish labeling things off. So we have this triangle. So magnitude of V, I believe, was six. Magnitude of W was 11. So magnitude of negative W is also 11. And we're looking for a magnitude of V minus W. Again, what do we use? We use a cosine law. So let's move over to the right. Doesn't look like we have a lot of space and use the cosine law. Cosine law. All right, let's write it out. Magnitude of V minus W squared equals magnitude of V squared plus magnitude of negative W squared minus two times magnitude of V times magnitude of negative W times the cosine of our internal angle contained by V and negative W, which is 150 degrees. So let's start plugging things in. Magnitude of V is six. Magnitude of negative W is 11. And cosine of 150. All right, let's go back. I need to do this again. Draw our plane. This is our cast rule. This is 150. Related acute angle is 30. 
cosine of 30, what's a cosine of 30? I think that's root three over two, right? Cosine of 30 is root three over two. Let's just do a quick check. Yes. So therefore, cosine of 150 equals negative root 3 over 2. And that's due to our cast rule. So we're going to plug that in. Negative root 3 over 2. Let's simplify. We have 36 plus 121 minus, let's cancel out our 2s here. And our negative signs give us a positive. And we're left with 66 times root 3. Big number. Okay. 36 plus 121 is 157. So the magnitude, therefore, the magnitude of V minus W is square root of 57 plus 66 root 3. Okay, good. So that takes care of part A. That was a lot of work. Now part B, the unit vector in the direction of V minus W. So how do we create a unit vector? Let's again scroll over this B. Um, so let's just mark this off. So we looked at part A and we got that the magnitude of our vector V minus W is the square root of 157 plus 66 root three. To create a unit vector, all we do is we take the original vectors of V minus W and divide by its magnitude. That's it. This is the unit vector. Unit vector in the direction of V minus W. Good. All right, so now let's go back and see what we're next asked to do. So now we're asked to find the magnitude of 5V minus W. Okay. All right, let's scroll over to the left and give that a try. So we have our vectors V and W right here, V and W. So let's draw the vector. 5v. So, so again, parallel to v, but five times as long. So pretty good approximation. Minus w. So w parallel to w, but in the opposite direction. Let's say there. Let's put some arrowheads on everything. Okay. And our resulting vector. The green one goes from the tail to the head of our of our 5v and our negative w. So this is this green vector is 5v minus w. The red vector is 5v, and the blue vector is negative w. So we know the lengths of all these vectors. Length of W is 11, so length, uh, magnitude, sorry, of W is 11, so magnitude of negative W is also 11. Magnitude of V is 6, so magnitude of 5V is going to be 30. So we're interested in the magnitude of 5V minus W. We also know the angle between V and W is 30, so the angle between 5V and W is also 30 degrees. So this means the angle between 5V and negative W is going to be 150. So again, we need to use the cosine law. All right. So let's, so it's very similar to part A. So why don't we do that? Um, we'll do it up here. Cosine law. So, uh, okay, let's write it out. 5v, magnitude of 5v minus w squared equals, hopefully you have enough space, 
5v, magnitude of 5v squared plus magnitude of negative w squared minus 2 magnitude of 5v times magnitude of w times cosine of 150 degrees. So let's start plugging things in big numbers this time 30 squared plus 11 squared minus 2 times 30 times 11 cosine of 150 we established was we'll put it up here root 3 over 2 and, and now let's start evaluating so 30 30 squared that's a big number I think it's 900 plus 121 minus, let's do this, 2 times 30 times 11. Okay, we can actually cancel out the 2s and we're left with 330 times root 3. Okay, so what do we have here? We have 1, 2, okay, 1,021. Look at that. Remember, cosine of 150 is negative root 3 over 2, so that changes the sign. So we actually have 900 plus 121 plus 330 times root 3. Then this gives us 1021 plus 330 times root 3, or the magnitude of 5v minus w equals a square root. 1021 plus 3, I wrote that wrong, 330 times root 3. Okay, and then that takes care of part C, so let's label that. Again, just an application of the cosine law. Part D, the direction, we're asked to find the direction of V minus U relative to V. Okay, so that brings us back to part A and that and that triangle. So let's scroll back over. Uh, yes, let's scroll back over to this triangle right here. Okay, so we're asked to find the direction of V minus W in relation to V. So if we can find this little yellow angle here, then we're good. So how do we do that? We need to use the sine law. Okay, so where's, so why do we do this on the right hand side just to keep everything together? So we're looking at the same diagram. So we're going to use this. So for part D, we're going to use the sine law. So we want to find that little angle, that little yellow angle. So why don't we give it a name? We'll call it alpha. We want to find alpha and we're going to use the sine law. So if we have sine 150 over magnitude of V minus W equals sine of our unknown angle over magnitude of negative W. And what do we get? Okay. So sine of 150 so that's the same, the sine of 150 is the same as sine of 30. Since 30 degrees is a related acute angle, sine of 30 degrees is a half. We've established that the magnitude of V minus W is this expression here, square root of 157 plus 66 times root three equals we don't know alpha, sine of alpha over magnitude of negative w is a magnitude of w, which is just 11. So now we can just solve for alpha. So let's write this out. We can cross multiply. So we have 11 over 2, we can bring that 2 down, times the square root of 157 plus 66 times root 3 and that equals a sine of alpha and then just use the inverse sine function to get our alpha. So now I'm just so I'll leave that as an exercise. Um, just put solve for alpha. And then our final answer is therefore 
vector v minus w is alpha degrees west of vector v. Good. All right. So we've, we've done quite a bit here. We've used the cosine law. We've used the sine law. We used our cast rule and the special triangles and trigonometry to solve these problems. A lot of trigonometry when dealing with vectors graphically. Okay, so this brings us, whoops. Oh dear, what have we done here? Okay. All right, so we've come to the end of our video. Don't know where the end of our video is, but we've come to the end of it. If you have any questions, feel free, I'll just write it on the board, feel free to send us an email at info at raise, raise my marks com, and we'll be happy to answer your questions. All right. Take care and we'll see you soon.